many philosophers embrace the idea that time is an illusion or that time doesn't really exist. The idea is so common nowadays, you've most likely heard it in conversations, movies, TV shows or read it somewhere. But as much as this sounds like pop psychology or fortune cookie wisdom, there actually is something to it. But what do we mean when we say time is an illusion? Exactly how does this illusion work and how do we break it? When you have a chance, try this little exercise. Start watching a TV show or movie. Now, pause the picture. When you've studied it sufficiently and taken notice of everything that's occurring at that moment, let the video presentation move forward a little bit and pause it again. Now, even though you see the same objects, the same people and so on, some or all of those people and objects have changed position. In reality, nothing actually moved around. What you're seeing is a different picture that has some similarities to the one you viewed before it. You realize the still frame you looked at before is, so to speak, its own universe, and the one you're looking at now is another one. The physical reality is not that much different. What you perceive in the physical reality are objects and people moving about. What's really happening is that every split second of the universe as you perceive it is a universe of its own. Each one of these universes is perceived by you for a split second, then replaced with a universe that looks similar to it, with a slight change in it. So even in the physical reality, when you see a ball moving from one place to another, you aren't seeing the same ball. You are seeing continual recreations of that ball in a new version of the physical reality, with the ball in a different position each time. Back to the television show. Now that you've looked at the new scene, reverse back to the old scene. Tell yourself, this is the past. Then forward to the second scene you still framed and say to yourself, this is the present. Now let's have some real fun. Let's take what we remember from the past frame and imagine it right next to the frame you're viewing now. You are now viewing the past and the present at the same time. You are now breaking the illusion of time. That's all for now, and thank you for your time. To continue learning more about the resolution of the mind, also known as TROM, take a moment to download the free ebook from this video's description. Don't forget to subscribe so as not to miss any further videos. This has been a presentation of DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind, resolve it.